Hey everyone, it's Joy here for Honeybee Stamps. Today I created a five by seven ink blended and die cut Halloween card for you using some of the market cart dies. Now I'm starting with the market cart die. I am gonna show you the pieces that I used from each die set because I did use a few. So I die cut one from black, one from orange, like the base cart, and then from then the wheels are from the market cart die. Then I have the Farm Fresh Market Cart add-on, and I'm just gonna use these two top pieces here that I die cut from some spooktacular cardstock, along with that orange piece from the market cart die. Then the next one is the Pumpkin Spice Market Cart add-on. This is from the new Spooktacular release. I die cut some pumpkins and then a cat, the um, kettle and the sign. And then from the Haunted House add-on, this is completely different. I die cut some headstones, some jack-o'-lanterns, a tree, some ghosts and some bats. So I have done all my die cutting ahead of time so we could get going on this card. Now I'm going to put together this cart first. So I have the wheel here, I have the black tire part, and then I did a wood base because I want this cart to feel on the older side, not modern. I'm trimming off the pieces that I don't need for my base because I do want this to just have the orange at the bottom and then the rest of it's going to be black. We are going to add the top piece, of course, but the, like the railings and things like that are going to be black on this cart. I want to adhere my wheel right to that little piece hanging down there. And I'm just using some liquid glue. For this little top piece, I'm folding on the two score lines because I wanna have this have a little bit of dimension. So I will adhere the top down and then I'm gonna add some foam tape underneath just so if it gets pushed down in the mailing, it's not going to go flat. So once that top part is adhered, I'm gonna flip this open and just add a strip of foam tape right underneath it and adhere it down. And then that part is completely finished. Then I'm gonna add the other little strip. And again, this cardstock, or excuse me, this patterned paper is from the Spooktacular uh, patterned paper that just was released from Honeybee Stamps. So I want this to have a little bit of dimension as well. Also, you guys hang out on this video because I have a really fun a uh, little tip, I don't know if it's a tip, but just a fun idea that I created the bubbling cauldron. So definitely hang around for that because it is super, super cute. All right, let's get the sign put together. There's three pieces to this sign. This says Witch's Brew. So I'm layering the cream one onto the black and then the black one onto the wood part of the sign. I'm taking some Copic markers and just very carefully and lightly tracing inside the debossed area on this sign and it says which is brew and then I'm just going to add a little bit of shading. I use some W markers for the Copic coloring. And then I die cut green and cream pumpkins. We do end up with an orange jack-o'-lantern but I really wanted the pumpkins to be green and cream. So I'm just adding some detail to these die cuts. They already have some uh, embossed areas from the die cuts. So I'm just going to highlight that with my Copic markers. I'm going to do all of the cream ones the same and then all of the green ones the same as well. If you didn't want to do this with Copic markers, you could just uh, maybe blend with some ink and do just a little bit of ink blending on this with like a small blender brush and that would give you some detail as well. And I'm just being kind of sloppy with this because they're pumpkins and they're not meant to look perfect and I want these to be kind of ugly because this is a uh, kind of a witchy card. So that's kind of the look I was going for, especially with the color greens that I picked and having a color cardstock really does all the work for you. And then you can just add some details with your markers or whatever color medium you need. Then from gray cardstock, I die cut those tombstones. I'm taking a light marker and just making some little squiggly lines to look like writing. And then I also, want to add a little bit of detail on the edge to kind of age it with the markers. Nothing crazy, nothing spectacular, but it adds something to it. I'm going to also use the darker marker to add like the crack lines that you would see in old stone um, tombstones. So I'm going to add that because I just always think that's a lot of fun and that's going to go a little bit darker. 
So like I said, I'm gonna do this for all of my images. I'm just gonna do the rest of it off camera so that way you guys don't have to sit through all of the coloring because again, it's exactly the same. So I'm gonna put that aside and I die cut those jack-o'-lanterns from the orange cardstock on the base of the cart and I'm just adding a little bit of marker inside the eyes and the mouth just to darken it up. Now in my stash, I have a circle masking, uh, like a mask stencil because I want to create a moon. Now, if you don't have a circle mask stencil, you can use a piece of masking paper with a circle die and you would just put down your masking paper like I am putting down my stencil. I also have some low tack tape to tape the horizon line because I want the sky, it's gonna have a lot of ground and a little bit of sky. So that's how we're gonna do this background. I'm actually gonna start with crushed olive, which I've never used for a Halloween sky and I don't know why I haven't because it's a funky yellowy green and it is so perfect and then I am using mowed lawn and then rustic wilderness and of course you have to bring, bring in some black soot because that just is a whole game changer when you're trying to make a spooky scary dark sky so I've got this um the sky blended and then I'm gonna remove that tape of the horizon line and I will put it up to the top because I want the moon to look like it's um, coming up pat, you know, like it's behind the mountain or behind the ground or whatever. And I did ink up the moon with the crushed olive just a little bit. And I did leave it splotchy on purpose because it's not going to be perfectly good. So here's where I taped that horizon line again. And I'm just going straight to the rustic wilderness, keeping it really, really dark because I want the ground to be dark. And then once this is all blended, then we can use the black soot, which really is just gonna make this look so, so awesome. Now look at that. We already have this great, great background. So let's just add a little more fun to it. So here's that black soot. I am letting some of it come over the moon, which I think looks really good. It's darkening it up a little bit, making it feel a little bit spookier. And I really love how this turned out and definitely getting that ground nice and dark. I love a five by seven card, especially for the market cart dies because it's big in itself. And if you want a scene, you have to do a five by seven. Now I use the horizon slimline borders to die cut this fence. I did it from gray cardstock. I kind of just want it there, but I want it in the background. So it's going to go behind my cart. I will adhere that tree in the background. Again, that's from black cardstock because it's that's really all you're gonna see if it's right in front of the moon. And I'm just using some Copic markers just to add a little bit of wood detail, even though you're not gonna see a ton of this fence, I felt like it needed a little something extra. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of lines to make it look like wood grain. Okay, let's get some foam tape behind this cart and we can start getting this into place because that means we can get everything else going. And there is a lot of stuff to this scene. I kind of jam packed it, but I don't mind because I think it turned out fantastic. Look at that cute sign that says Witches Brew. I, excuse me, Witches Brew. I absolutely love it. Then I have my tombstones that I'm going to place. Now, something that I always talk about is grounding your images. You guys, I totally forgot to do that and completely ended the video, took my photos and everything, and then went, oh my gosh, I completely forgot to bring in my Copic markers and ground my images. So what I would do is we'd be getting a green marker that matches the background and grounding my images, adding a little bit of shadow under the images that are sitting on the ground. So yeah, I totally forgot. <laughs> so, but no big deal, not the end of the world. Okay, I'm adding some of those spider webs. Those are so cute. We've got some bats here. And I did like the spider web on the fence. I'm gonna have two on the cart. Then we've got some of these pumpkins. I'm just kind of laying things out to eyeball to get a quick idea of where I want some things. But as you can see, this scene is really starting to come together. So here is that other spider web that's just from black cardstock. I'm gonna tuck that under the canopy there. And then let's get some of these pumpkins laid down. Some of these will have foam tape, the ones in front by the cartwheel. The other ones will just be adhered to the back. I am letting some things go off the edge because that just makes your scene look larger and you can trim off anything that's hanging over. So some foam tape on that green pumpkin, some foam tape on this white pumpkin. The white pumpkins are my favorite. I really, really love them. Let's get one more little pumpkin here. And we have that cute cat. We've got a jack-o'-lantern left. Um, we have the 
the witch's kettle, so, or cauldron, not kettle. It's a cauldron. I don't know why I've been calling it a kettle. Weird. And my little ghosts that we die cut from vellum. I die cut those from vellum because I want them to be see-through, so it's perfect. I'm adding a little piece of foam tape on the bottom of him and just tucked him behind that cart so you won't even see it. And then the other one's going to just be tucked in behind or on the side of the cart. So just hide your adhesive when you're using vellum. Um, then, okay, so I'm trimming a little piece of cardstock that's going to go behind the cauldron that's going to stick up at the top. I'm doing that because we're going to need an area to add the bubbling potion, the witch's brew that's in this cauldron. So let's adhere this white piece. And here's my little trick. I think I called it a tip at the beginning, but it's a trick and it's so much fun. So here we go. I'm using a Mar the Marvy Snow Marker, you guys. And so I'm gonna add it to that white piece that's behind the cauldron. I'm also going to add it down like it's dripping. And with the Marvy Snow Pen, you add it. And be careful when you push the tip because a lot of it comes out. And then you take your heat gun to it and that snow pen puffs up, you guys. And it is so cool. I added a little bit more at the top. You can see a lot came out of my pen. Um, I added a little bit more at the top. Also, when I press on it, I press on it on a scrap piece so I don't get too much like you saw. It kind of bled really easily, and so you don't want that. And so there is that. Look at that cauldron. How cute is that? I'm so in love with it. Okay, so I'm using Distress Oxide Spray in Mowed Lawn. I'm going to put a little bit on my work surface, and I have a really tiny paintbrush, and I'm just going to paint it green. And you guys, my hand was out of the camera view for just a few seconds. I promise it'll show back in, but I was literally just taking it and painting it on, so no big deal. You didn't miss anything special. Uh, but it took the paint just fine, or the, the um, oxide spray just fine. And you'll see here in just a second. And it's got this fun witch's brew green, which I really, really love. So here you go. Look at how awesome that is. Okay, so let that dry for sure. So I'm going to be really careful when I'm working with that because I didn't give it time to dry. I am going to add some foam tape. And I actually added two pieces of foam tape behind it because I wanted it to be really up front on the cart. But look at how cute that is. That is my favorite part of this card. Of course, we have a little kitty cat, a little black kitty cat. I'm going to place him on the pumpkin. And then I have another cauldron to the left that I'm going to place. We have this one little jack-o'-lantern that I'm putting up here at the top. And yeah, there's the other little cauldron. Let's put him in place. And isn't that so, so cute? Okay, let's do, uh, I, I, excuse me, I added a little bit of ebony. Crystal Nouveau drops to the center of the wheel. I'm gonna add one more bat off to the side and then we can add our sentiment. This is from the Happy Halloween and it says got candy with a question mark, which I thought was just really funny with the witches or with this little witch card. So we're gonna do that with some um, intense black ink from Honeybee Stamp. So now I did not let my witches brew stuff in the cauldron dry, nor did I let the <laughs> Nouveau crystal drops dry. And all of a sudden I'm like, why do I have black stuff everywhere? Because the lid of my Misty was pushing on it. So let that stuff dry before you put down your sentiment or do your sentiment first. <laughs> Don't do as I do. Now this card is completely finished. Look at this fun scene card. I love how this turned out. That cart is so, so cute. We have a complete scene. Of course, the cauldron with the witch's brew is my favorite. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you feel inspired and I hope you guys have a really wonderful day. Bye.